Hey guys, so welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. Anyway, for this first video that I'm going to do, I'm going to be painting my PS5 black to match the aesthetic of my entertainment system in my living room. So without further ado, here is my PS5. So if you follow my wife or me on our socials, you know that my wife gave, gave this to me for my birthday. And it doesn't quite match the aesthetic of my entertainment system. So I'm going to try my best to paint it black using this peelable paint I found on Lazada. So if I make a mistake, I can peel it off and do it again. Hopefully this turns out better than I expect because if not, it would be a waste of paint and a waste of the aesthetic of this beautiful piece of machinery. So let's hope for the best and I hope you guys like and subscribe and I hope you guys look forward to my future videos on this channel. So yeah, let's get started guys. Okay, so this is the location of the PS5 in my living room. And to pair it up, I have the 55-inch LG OLED TV. And I have the LG soundbar as well, so when I play or watch movies, everything comes out from there. My wife decided to put some accents on the side, and it doesn't really match the aesthetic of my PS5. So we're gonna paint it and make it a point that it matches my current setup. So first things first, we gotta get rid of the plating on the front and the back. So for this one, you hold it by the PS logo, you pull it up and slide down. See, that wasn't so bad. And this is one end of it. Then you flip it the other way. So for the opposite side, you're gonna hold it from the other end and lift and slide and there you go. So this is the bare unit. I'm gonna dust it a little bit because it's a little dusty from the downstairs. So I'll put this aside first. And now we're left with the two plates. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this down with alcohol and I'll wipe it down with curing water afterwards to make it clean. Then once it's clean, we're gonna spray it outside and hopefully it sticks and it looks good. Okay guys, so sometimes there's gonna be some blemishes like over here, I'm not sure if you can see it. But there's some blemishes and that's when Kirin water comes in. Basically, Kirin water is ionized water that removes stains almost out of everything. So I'm gonna spray this down, let it sit for five minutes, then wipe it down, then we should be good to paint. So we'll let it sit for about five minutes, then we're gonna continue wiping it down, then we're good to paint. Okay guys, so please pardon the mess for outside my house. It's kind of dusty lang kasi may mga construction sa gilid-gilid namin. So anyway, I'm gonna spray on this so I don't stain my tiles. So, here we are. Make sure to wipe it down one more time for dust. Then, moment of truth. Give the can a good shake. And make it a point to spray. You have to spray it in passes and in coats. So we don't have to coat it all in one go because it'll be thick. So we'll let that sit first and we're gonna hit the other side. So we'll let this sit for a little bit because I don't want it to get too thick. Then we'll just do it all over again. Okay guys, so I probably hit it with four coats. So if ever it comes out a little too thick, the paint is peelable, so matatanggal mo rin siya, you can peel it off. So that you can just redo it again. It takes a couple of tries. I think I'm gonna have to re-peel the front panel because I think I did it a little too thick. But other than that, no problem. I can peel it, I can just do it again. It's elastic, it's rubberized. And also don't forget to cover up. And even if you're not spraying, wear a mask outside just to take care of yourself and the people around you and so that you don't inhale any of these bad feelings. Okay guys, so I let the cover dry out for I think overnight because normally I'm excited when I read it. So I had to really take my time to make sure it was dried so I don't smudge it because the paint is when I read it. So now, it's been a day and I have the finished product here and let's put it all together. Okay guys, so now we're at my desk and before I show you the front back, I have to remind you that 
the corners are seen over here. So what I did was I just sprayed around it so that you don't see any of the white parts from the outer portion, but you don't really need to go so much on the inside. So like this, see? As long as it's not seen, you're good. So just spray that on the outside. So here is the finished product. It doesn't look that bad, but I still have parts where I can redo it. I just need to peel it off and paint it again. So let's put it together. So guys, before you put it together, it's the best reason for you to clean it. So I've had this since December and it was still kind of dusty around here. So I vacuumed it and I used a blower to get it out. So putting it on is just the complete opposite of taking it off. You just push and slide over pull and uh, pull and pull. Yeah, okay, let's put it back on. So obviously the one with the PS logo cut out here on the corner over there is where the front panel goes. So, so with this one, it is just line everything up and slide. There we go. Then the last portion, pretty much the same thing. Line everything up with the disc slot over here. Then you get the one here, line it up and slide. There we go, and we're done. There you have it guys, my matte black PS5. Now for the people that are asking, you don't have to repaint it yourself because you can actually find a lot of these plates available online but I don't think, well I mean I think at the time I shot this video, I don't think they are available but they normally retail around $50 so about 2,500 pesos mga ganun, for the plates but since I had the spray at home and I was bored, I decided to just do it myself so I technically didn't spend on anything. Now there's some portions here I could touch up but as for now I like the way it looks and since my wife is going to start renovating the downstairs to add a little bit more black accent I think it would work perfectly with the setup of my living room. So for my first vlog that's about it guys. If you liked the first video I hope it was informative. It gives you a DIY project to do if you're stuck at home, you're bored or you're very OC like me where you want things to match to a certain degree. Now I just want to talk about what I plan on shooting in this YouTube channel. I guess this was the best way for me to segue into doing it since a lot of my loved ones have been telling me to do it as well. So I want to tackle food, tech, cars, lifestyle, basically everything that I can do on my own where, I don't know, wherever I'm happy because at the end of the day guys, being happy is what matters to us most now and it really is very important to be happy and just doing what you love and what drives you to be passionate. So. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bu button so you're updated. Follow me on Instagram, follow my wife, follow my dogs, follow my baby. And thank you so much, guys. I will see you again soon, hopefully with another interesting video that, I don't know, you can do or probably find interesting. So, thanks.